and chilling new information coming out from those court papers about exactly how fast that Mercedes was going when it blew through the red light slamming in the traffic and about the driver of the Mercedes itself. A woman who, uh, according to the court papers, is suffering from mental illness that supposedly had her jumping out of apartment windows. Here's more. The devastating and deadly Windsor Hills crash. Now we are learning more about the driver of the speeding Mercedes that slammed into cross traffic. And we are learning more about the crash itself. Prosecutors from the L.A. County DA's office filing this motion in Superior Court requesting the driver of that Mercedes, 37-year-old Nicole Linton, be held without bail. In making their case, prosecutors claim Linton drove her black Mercedes at around 90 miles per hour, slamming into westbound traffic on Slauson Ave, traffic that already had the green light for nine seconds. Prosecutors say the Mercedes rammed into two cars. With the force of that crash so strong, it split one of the cars in two, igniting the wreckage into a fireball. The horrific scene captured on this cell phone video, a fiery chain reaction crash that killed six people, including a pregnant woman, her infant son, and her unborn baby. Seven others were also hurt, including several children. So let's go back on the record in People versus Nicole Linton. This is Nicole Linton in court for the first time last week. Now we're learning more about the traveling nurse from Texas who was working and living here in West L.A. at the time of the crash. Prosecutors say Linton's defense team has disclosed lots of information. Linton, the defense says, has been suffering from mental illness since 2018. And defense attorneys have disclosed even more information. Check this, saying Linton has hurt herself more than once, ranging from the defendant, Linton, jumping on police cars, the jumping out of apartment windows, with the defense telling prosecutors Linton's incidents appear to be increasing in severity. Further investigation into some profound mental health issues that many of which uh, occurred out of state. All this says Linton remains behind bars, facing another hearing in about two and a half weeks on whether she should be granted bail and her freedom as she waits to stand trial following the horrific crash that the DA says sent shockwaves through L.A. Now live, the defense saying it will continue to investigate more reports of mental illness cases involving Linton, while the prosecution will continue its push, arguing to the judge that Linton should not be granted bail, that she should remain in custody until her trial comes up several months from now. As the prosecution says, Linton is very much a threat to herself and to the public. For now, we are live here downtown. Back to both of you we go.